Hello everyone. I spent six months learning Microsoft Copilot and AI agents, testing, experimenting, and learning how to actually use them in real life. And in this video, I will share everything I learned so you don't have to spend months trying to figure that out yourself. So if you want to use AI like a pro in Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and Teams, and also build powerful AI agents, this is the only video you need. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed. I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I taught over half a million students on Udemy and Coursera. And on this channel, I help you learn AI, AI agents, and large language models in a simple, easy, and fun way. So let's go ahead and get started with our video. This video is divided into five sections. In section one, you will learn how to use Copilot Chat to generate text, images, and conduct real-time research to boost your productivity. In section two, I will show you how Copilot is used inside Microsoft apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. In section three, I will show you how to use the new Create with Copilot feature. We will use Copilot to create amazing posters and also generate videos. In section four, we will explore the next generation of artificial intelligence, which is AI agents. These agents can think, reason, plan, and act. I will show you two amazing AI agents that will literally blow your mind away. In the last section, I will show you how to build your own custom AI agent using your datasets. All right, so let's go ahead and try Microsoft Copilot Chat. And you can simply go ahead and write a prompt here asking Copilot to generate an image of a city in the year 2100. And the idea here with generative AI is that all these ideas are being generated right now on the spot. So every time you run it, you might get different images. So what Copilot is going to do is going to generate basically four different variations of this image. And please note that if you go ahead and run it on your end, you might get different results. And here we go. Look how amazing these are. So if you click on these images, you will see an amazing image kind of showing humanoid uh, robots just walking together along with humans in the year 2100. Okay, let me show another example you can simply use Microsoft Copilot to do external research for you. So you can ask it, for example, I want you to list the top 10 richest people in the world. And please note that right now I activated the web option. And with the web option, this is gonna go do research for you. And here we go. Now you should be able to see the list of all kind of richest people in the world. And what's powerful as well about Copilot is you can go ahead and prompt it again, talk to it again, so for example, you can say, I would like you to display these results in a bar chart. So if you go ahead and run it, what's gonna happen is that Copilot is gonna run Python code for you. You will see Python code right now is being generated and it's gonna generate a plot as well for you. So here we go. Now you should be able to see a nice bar chart showing all the different richest people in the world. And if you click on view analysis, you should be able to see the code as well here that is used to generate that bar chart. Next, you can go ahead and use Microsoft Copilot to write Python code as well. So you can use it for code generation. So here I'm gonna use it to write Python code to build a regression model. And what's powerful as well is that you can use the power of Copilot to convert from one programming language to the other. Now you should be able to see a code that is being generated here for you and a machine learning model as well that has been built and you should be able to see the RMSE and the R squared as well listed here. What I really like about Copilot is you can go ahead and say convert that code into JavaScript and now it's going to convert from one language to the other. And here we go. Now you have the Java version of that code. Next, what you could do is you can extract features and data from existing documents. So you don't have to go and read thousands of pages for documents. Let me show you. So if you click here on the upload button and you click on upload device, you should be able to see a 10K document, which is a large financial document for publicly traded companies. 
And here what I'm asking him to do, to ask him to please go ahead and I want you to extract the balance sheet for NVIDIA, which is simply that 10K document here. And what Copilot's gonna do, it's gonna go, it's gonna read every single page available in that document, and it's going to extract financial data for you. So here we go. So now it was able to extract the balance sheet from that document, here we go, has been extracted in a nice tabular format. All right, so the second feature that I wanted to show you here in Copilot is the ability to create content. So if you go here to the bottom, you should be able to see create. And here you can create or design a poster, create a forum, design a banner and so on. Let me show you a quick example. So let's assume that I would like to design a poster and you should be able to see amazingly created posters here for you. So you can use some of these as your template. So for example, let's say I like this one, you can go ahead and click on it and you should be able to see a kind of prompt that has been used to generate that template. And you can go ahead and fill in values here for your business or your company. So what I've done here is I said, please go ahead and edit prompt. I'm just gonna write here. I'd like to read a poster that reads, welcome to AI made simple by me, <laughs> okay? And uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. So click create and let's see the creative imagination of these generative artificial intelligence models in Copilot. So it's gonna take some time for it to run. So let's go ahead and wait until it's generated. And here we go. So now you should be able to see a nice poster here that has been created, kind of understand the text embedded in here, and you should be able to see a few additional examples as well. If you are enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you can hit the like button. It's totally free and it helps us a lot. And if you'd like to go deeper, go ahead and join our free community you can find a link in the description below. It's a great place to connect, ask questions, and learn from others. And as a bonus, when you sign up, I will send you all the slides and prompts that we use today, so you can try it out yourself. All right, next, I would like to show you Microsoft Copilot capabilities in Word, in PowerPoint, and in Excel. So now here I have Microsoft Word open. You should be able to see Copilot icon here appearing on the top right corner. Once you click on it, you can just go ahead and prompt it directly in Microsoft Word. So here, basically I just pasted this prompt here. So I'm just gonna say, you are part of a product marketing team at Apple. The leadership would like to generate a report that summarizes the global rollout plan for the new iPhone. And here we go. So you should be able to see kind of generated content here in Microsoft Word directly by Copilot. Another example, if you go ahead and open PowerPoint, on the right hand side, you should be able to see Copilot here activated and you can create a presentation from existing files. You can also create a presentation about a general topic. So here, I'm just gonna say create a presentation about and I can go ahead and just select a topic. And the topic here is gonna be, let's say AI, and the future of education. Let's go ahead and give it a try. And you can of course upload a reference file here. So when you go ahead and run it, Microsoft Copilot is gonna generate a, an outline basically for your presentation. And if you're happy with it, you can just say go and generate the PowerPoint slides for you. If you're happy with it, you can just say generate slides. And Copilot is going to generate images and text as well for every single slide. This is gonna be amazing. So let's wait and see. So here we go, Microsoft Copilot generated uh, slides here for you. So you can go ahead and view these slides. You should be able to see images here generated on the spot and also a nice presentation that has been created completely by artificial intelligence. Next, if you open Microsoft Excel, you can see Copilot as well here on the right hand side. You can use it to create formulas, to understand formulas. You can also run Python code directly here in uh, Excel and here, I just ask it, could you please go ahead and I want you to plot the histogram of the age column here. So you can just prompt it, run it, and then Copilot's gonna generate a graph for you. And if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and insert that graph into your notebook. So here we go, Microsoft Copilot generated that histogram here for you for the age column. So it understand our intent. And you can so go ahead and say add to sheet and you should be able to see the graph embedded in your sheet. In this section, I want to show you the most powerful tool available in Copilot, which is the ability to use or leverage existing AI agents. 
So if you're not familiar with agents, the idea of an agent is that now you have a specialized employee who have access to tools. So they can go, they can search the internet, they can reason and act accordingly as well. So there are two powerful agents available right now. There are analyst and researcher. So all you need to do is to click on it. So if you click on analyst, now you have a data analyst available at your disposal. Let me show you. If you go ahead and click plus here and you say upload from device. And now I'm going to upload this data and you can just simply prompt it right now. And please know that right now we're talking to the analyst AI agent. If you go ahead and click run, the agent is going to take that data. It's going to clean it up for you. It's going to generate insights. It's going to run Python code. And here we go. You should be able to see a Python code. And I teach a lot of Python as well. And you know, the code is perfect, I would say. You can see success here. And you should be able to see right now it's reasoning. So it's actually running that code. It's seeing the results and can improve its performance over time. So here we go. Now it did all the analysis here for you. And you can go ahead and use it for data visualization to build machine learning models. And this is just incredible, right? It can automate a lot of tasks for you and it can help you 10x your productivity. All right, so here I asked the analyst to go ahead and perform data visualization. I just uploaded the data. Should be able to see it ran Python code and it was able to generate plots as well. And pretty incredible. So you can use it to automate a lot of tasks. The next artificial intelligence agent in Copilot that I wanted to show you that will blow your mind away is called Researcher. So Researcher can simply shorten the time it required humans, maybe take them days to conduct research. You can do all of that in minutes. So here we're structuring a prompt, assuming that you work at a Blackstone private equity and you would like to invest in fintech startups in North America. And I would like to list five emerging fintech companies. Just wanted the AI agent to go look up the internet, find the best fintech companies, compile that information and generate kind of a structured report, including company name, key innovation, funding and so on. So this is going to take a few minutes for it to run. So I'm just going to pause the video and be back when the agent is complete. So what you see right now is the AI researcher agent is doing kind of creating its own tasks and it's looking up the internet. So it's reviewing all the fintech startup lists, it's finding relevant companies, it's creating tasks here, and it's gonna take a few minutes, I would say, to run. So it's gonna review all the disruptors and explore as well all the finances of all these different companies. And then it's going to summarize and generate a concise report, including all these top five companies to invest in. So here we go. You will find an amazing report generated by our researcher AI agent in Copilot. And you will find that it's actually not a general just chat with Copilot. This has a lot of deep reasoning around it and was able to ground as well the results in multiple sources here too. So you can increase its authenticity and observability and trust. So finally, what you could do is that you can create your own custom AI agent directly in Copilot without writing any code. Let me show you. So here you should be able to see create agent. If you go ahead and click on it, you can basically configure your own employee. You can give it access to tools. You can also give it access to data as well. So if you go to configure here, you should be able to see that you can give an agent a name, you can give it a description, you can give it instructions. You can also give it access to knowledge. So the agent will reply based on the files or maybe available data that is included in SharePoint. You can also give it the ability to write code. You can have the ability to create images so it has kind of the creative imagination you can also give it starter prompts too so let me show you so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to assume that i would like to create an onboarding agent and that agent is going to ground the results in this data so think of it as an onboarding agent for companies and this is my company i would say and you should be able to see that here we have a policy for let's say vacation days that we have 20 days vacation so when I ask Copilot right now, I want it to be grounded in that data. So let's go ahead and show you how to build that agent together. So if you go to the describe, you can just type here or describe what that agent does. And here I included an example for you. So here we go. Here I'm just giving instructions to the AI agent. You are Stemplicity's AI onboarding agent or assistant. These are the capabilities and this is the tone, be professional, concise. 
And here I can just simply copy that prompt and paste it over there in Copilot to build our agent. Let me show you. So now I'm just gonna copy that and go ahead back and paste it. So I'm gonna come here, just paste it here, click run. And now the Copilot's going to customize your own artificial intelligence agent for you. So it's asking me to give it a name. I'm gonna say, sure, this is the name. Okay, I'm happy with that name. I'm gonna say yes. And if you go to configure, now you should be able to see kind of the name here. So I chose Templicity Assistant. You should be able to see a description here that has been created for you. I also have clear instructions and you can go ahead and give it access to knowledge. So now I can go ahead and simply go and upload the documents. So what you could do is that you can now embed your knowledge inside that agent brain. So now if you go ahead, you can click here, upload files or sites. So if you click on sites here, I uploaded all the files to my SharePoint. And that's pretty much it. You can just say create and now you are creating your own custom AI agent with your own knowledge, with the ability to write code and generate images as well. So now the agent is set up. I got Statistity Assistant here and now I'm asking it how many vacation days am I allowed? So if you go ahead and run it, it should ground the results in our documents. So now I should be able to see 20 days. So here we go, it's gonna tell me well 20 vacation days and it's able to ground it as well in all the documents that I uploaded to SharePoint. That's it, that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead, maybe try to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos. And don't forget to join our free AI community where you can grab the prompts, slides, and connect with others building the future of AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.